Rome and the Western Roman Empire fell in 476. But the empire did not disappear overnight. In fact, the Eastern Roman Empire, which later became known as the Byzantine Empire, survived another thousand years. While the cities of the Western Roman Empire were crumbling, the Byzantine Empire prospered and preserved the heritage and traditions of Rome. But it also borrowed heavily from other traditions. Byzantine civilization blended Christian religion, Greek art, science and philosophy, and Roman engineering and law. The Byzantine capital, Constantinople, became the new Rome. Built on the ruins of the ancient Greek city of Byzantium, Constantinople was located on a major trade route between Europe and Asia. Besides developing into one of Europe's busiest marketplaces, it also became a melting pot where Eastern and Western cultures merged. One of the most striking examples of this cultural blending was Constantinople's Church of Hagia Sophia. Rebuilt by the Emperor Justinian in the early 6th century, it combined Greek and Roman building techniques in a new and Eastern-inspired architectural style that quickly became the trademark of Byzantine architecture. This dome structure, almost a city in itself, became the emotional center of the Eastern Christian world. When the Western Roman Empire fell, Byzantium lost most of its European provinces. But by the year 555, new Byzantine armies had reconquered many of them. These conquests, along with trade with Africa, Asia, and Europe, made the Byzantine Empire rich in wealth and culture. Merchants, scholars, and missionaries traveled throughout the Byzantine Empire and beyond, spreading the ideas and writings of a culture built on Greek, Roman, Persian, Egyptian, and other influences. Perhaps the greatest influence of the Byzantines can be seen in Russia. According to an early history, Prince Vladimir of Kiev was so impressed by the wealth and beauty of Byzantine civilization, he adopted Byzantine Christianity and arranged for the mass conversion of his people. Gradually, Russia absorbed the religion as well as the institutions and culture of the Byzantines. These influences are still seen in the icons of Russian Orthodoxy and the onion dome churches that dot the Russian landscape. But while Byzantine culture thrived and spread, the political and military power of the empire diminished. In the seventh century, the empire began to shrink, weakened by wars with its Persian, Islamic, Arab, and Slav neighbors. Contributing to this decline was a long-term economic conflict with Venice, a rival trading city in Italy. Venetian merchants and rulers wanted to dominate Mediterranean trade, and they hungered for the wealth of Constantinople. They saw their opportunity in the Crusades, a series of wars between Christians and Muslims over control of the Holy Land. The Venetians persuaded an army of Crusaders to attack Constantinople and loot the city in 1204. Arriving on Venetian boats, the European knights stormed the city. For three days, the invaders pillaged and plundered. During the chaos, much of the accumulated art and treasure of centuries was destroyed. Most of what was not destroyed was boxed up and shipped to Venice. The Byzantine Empire never fully recovered. Over the next 200 years, Constantinople continued to decline. Finally, the empire that had stretched from Spain to Syria was reduced to little more than the walled city-state of Constantinople.
Byzantium's end finally came in 1452, when the armies of Sultan Mohammed II of the Ottoman Turks attacked Constantinople. Once again, the city was plundered. But unlike the Venetians, the Ottoman Turks weren't looking to loot the city and leave. They wanted the city itself. The Sultan made the city his capital, and it was eventually renamed Istanbul. He also converted the great church of Hagia Sophia into a mosque. The city that had been the heart of Eastern Christendom for nearly a millennium became a major center of Muslim culture. With the victory of the Ottomans, the Byzantine Empire ended. But the Byzantine legacy remained and influenced generations to come. The Byzantine Empire had preserved the heritage of ancient Rome and mixed it with the cultures of Asia. This Byzantine culture that blended traditions of East and West left an enduring influence that continues to this day.